Gerard, we're standing in front of Prunella Clough's lorry driver, well, lorry and ladder one of 1952. And uh, let's talk about it in some sort of context. So 1952, it's now seven years after the war. Um, she has been back in London from uh, Lowestoft, where she painted a lot of fishermen. And, uh, and here it is, a very, very utilitarian painting, an oil on canvas. Yeah. During the war, Prunella spent a lot of her time, as she put it, grafting away, working. She was a map, mapper for the civil service, was part of her war effort. Uh, and also she was a designer. So she understood the world of work and she was always interested in labor and work. And this was painted at a time when Britain was being rebuilt. There's a lot of redevelopment, regeneration going on. So this is a painting concerned with work, concerned with labor and the reconstruction of Britain. Uh, she doesn't consider the driver as a character or a personality, bottom right hand corner. He's much more angular, treated in an angular fashion, an almost semi-abstract manner, like the objects of his labor, like the accoutrements, the ladders and the bits of scaffolding, the rope uh, in the back of the lorry. Uh, so in a sense, workmen and, uh, and lorry are united and, and painted in, in a similar style. The, the colors are very muted. That's right. So was, was there a, a lack of um, paint in 1952 or...? or I, don't think that's the, I don't think that would have uh, been the point. Mm. Brunella is a colorist. Yeah. We know this from her later yeah. works and everything else. She knows the value of color. Mm. But I think here the color is muted. It's utilitarian, as we were saying. Uh, it's the color of metal and wood and rope and mud. The building side, these are the colors she saw on the building side. It, it's Britain in 1952. Yeah. It's, it's muted and it's grey. And it's dull. <laughs> <laughs> now, you just mentioned about her later work, and I'm looking at the lower left-hand corner yeah. of this work, which is a very, very abstract um, part of the painting where her signature is in the lower left. Yes. Uh, it seems to be... You can see all the seeds of what she gets up to later mm -hmm. on, this formalised laying out of, of the objects. And with a kind of... Uh, a clarity of purpose. Re we've got to remember she was a designer, yeah. Prunella. So everything is placed absolutely, ob you know, um, some of the forms going right off to the edges of the picture, almost like guy ropes, holding mm. the, the, the composition in mm. place here. Uh, and the imagery hovers between abstraction and figuration. And this, this is the area where, where Prunella excelled. It's almost as though uh, she, she sees an abstract shape in something formal mm. and something uh, um, naturalistic. And at the same time, in something naturalistic, she sees something Do you know, it's a, of it's abstraction. A, it's a little bit like Victor Passmore of the late 40s yeah. when, when the, um, the paintings point. of the Thames go into more, more yes. abstraction. Yes, that's right. So it's a sign of things to come. 